In this video, we will take you through a few different scenarios where you will be introducing your new pet to a resident pet. Introducing your new cat to your resident cat. Cats can be wonderful companions to each other, but it's important to take the introduction process slow because cats are territorial and need to be introduced with enough time to get used to each other before there is a face-to-face -face confrontation. That's why we recommend you break out the introduction into phases. Confinement. You can start the confinement phase by separating your new cat to one medium-sized room with their litter box, food, water, and a bed. Feed your resident cat and the newcomer on opposite sides of the door to this room. This will help both of them to associate something enjoyable, like eating, with each other's smells. Don't put the food so close to the door that the cats are too distracted by each other's presence to eat. Gradually move the dishes closer to the door until your pets can eat calmly directly on either side of the door. Scent swapping. As long as neither cat is sick, the second step is swapping scents. Switch sleeping blankets or beds between your new cat and your resident cat so they have a chance to become accustomed to each other's scents. Switching living areas. Once the new cat is using her litter box and eating regularly while confined, the next stage will be to let them have free time in the house while confining your other cat or cats to the new cat's room. This switch provides another way for the animals to experience each other's scents without a face-to-face -face meeting, while at the same time giving your new cat time to explore their new home. Contact. The last stage will be moving on to contact. We recommend short, supervised visits, which you can increase the frequency and duration of based off the behavior that you're seeing. If either cat becomes fearful or aggressive, separate them and start over with the introduction process in a series of small, gradual steps as outlined previously. Using a baby gate or other barriers to help break up the home can help aid in this process. While this video gives you an overview of best practices during these slow introduction processes, we have more detailed resources in our behavior resource library on our website. And we also provide a free behavior helpline as a resource to the public if you need further, more personalized behavior advice. Please visit our website or click the links provided for more details on these resources.